YouTube, what up though? Jermaine Credit Theme. One more video for the night. It's 3 30 in the morning. I'm gonna call it a night. All right, still researching information for my clients. But um that's insomnia. So for education purpose only, you know, this is how we have to catch these debt collectors. Um when they provide false, misleading, or deceptive information, okay? Um, pay attention to the words that they use, people. That, that was my, one of my strategies, okay? The communication from a debt collector. Like when, okay, give an example. You disputed with the consumer reporting agencies, right? Came back and verified as accurate. Now you're going straight for the debt collector. And the debt collector responded back, and he used these words right here, something like our client, right? That was thing, like... Portfolio Recovery Associates is known for that. But here's the thing, people. That's why I, I keep stressing that there's a difference between like a, you know, typical debt collector and a debt buyer. Now, they're both collection agencies. They have to comply with the FDCPA and check your state law to see if your state has laws for debt collecting. Okay. So, but right now we're talking about the FDCPA. They both have to comply with the FDCPA. Okay. So, but a debt buyer actually is like owns the account, okay? Because they bought the entire portfolio from that original creditor. Um, but now the debt collector is communicating with you and say, our client. Now, those two words right there, our client, can lead you to what well, it is put you in advantage because I can't make any promises or guarantee that they're going to comply. But that just put you, gave you the advantage. And let me explain why. So we first... There's two sections in the FDCPA, all right, that you can use false, um, false or misleading uh, representations. Okay, so and you can go down to, um, I mean, you can use this right here too, the character amount or legal status. But more importantly, I mean, the more definitive is this: the use is number ten, the use of any false representation or deceptive means to collect or attempt to collect any debt or to obtain information concerning the consumer, right? It says, or, so, or that means this apply or this or that. Okay. So the use of any false representation or deceptive means to collect, right? So when they said, if it's like portfolio recovery associates is a debt buyer. Okay. So they, they buy debt. That's what they do. They normally don't collect on behalf of anyone. So when they say our client, it's not really their client. Okay. Cause they're not collecting on behalf of, their original creditor they're collecting for themselves okay so you can use that um and you also can use um section 8 12 right here furnishing um certain deceptive forms okay now you got to really pay attention to this I always look at the ors that's why i say or <laughs> it is unlawful to design compile or furnish any form knowing that such form would be used to create the false belief in a consumer that a person other than the creditor of such consumer is participating in the collection of or in an attempt to collect a debt such consumer allegedly allegedly owes such creditor when in fact such person is not so participating well the original creditor is out if he's a, if it's a debt buyer so who is the creditor the creditors now would be the, they're not the original creditor, but the debt buyer would be considered like a creditor. They own the account now. So is the original creditor participating? No, right? So when they say our client to, again, you furnish them just um, deceptive forms, right? That is on that document, is on that, you know, the, the correspondence that you, that you receive from them. So you can take your pick. You can use 807 and you can use this, you know, 812. Um, you know, I'm just sharing information, people. Again, not to make any promises or guarantees, but, you know, ever since I started getting back in, you know, I got my two clients, like things coming back, you know. Um, it's like amazing how much stuff you can forget, you know, use it, right? Been been a couple of years. So even if I'm doing videos, it's different than in actually engaging in the actual process. You know what I mean? Um coming up with different different strategies and tactics and you know different approaches i'm just going to use them say it use that term approach right um upon disputing you know such such as collections you know what i mean um which laws you know you got different collect a debt collector collecting for different types of collection you got medical you know you got credit cards you got 
you know, loans, personal loans, install, you know, installments type of credit and all that. So you have to know, you know, find the laws that that relates to that type of collection or whatever. You know, you have to be, you know, not know it all, but at least be aware, know where to go to, right, to help you you know, help you out, you know, help you with your dispute process. Okay. Remember disputing is not about getting out of paying what's old people, but the credit repair, I mean, the credit report doesn't prove what's old either. You see what I'm saying? Documentation does whatever. And that's it. So the lack thereof, then that means that they can't for, for credit reporting, they can't report information that they cannot verify or is inaccurate or remains incomplete. All right. This is Jermaine the credit fiend. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out this video. Listen, if you're not a member, all right, hopefully you guys hitting that subscribe button and you're hitting that, that bell notification. Again, I just, last night, I was on until two in the morning. But anyway, you want to be a member, right, This for this Sunday because we got some special one coming up this Sunday, right? We got one of our own, one of our members. He's going to share. He got his own credit pair down in Florida. Um, He's a beast, right? But he's going to show us um how he's been helping his clients get this money from these consumer reporting agencies and debt collectors and stuff when they violate okay all right so not twisting any on people but for five dollars you know i think that that information probably worth way more than five dollars but it's up to you all you know what i mean but if anything i appreciate you taking time to watch this video or any or any of my videos <laughs> all right peace y'all y'all be easy